What up, YouTube? All right, let's get to it. So on here, it's another rod I got. This is a new a new rod, old school reel. So this is the the Pin Squadron Three. Pin Squadron Three, y'all. This one's a a seven foot medium heavy. Can't get it to focus too well, y'all. Seven foot medium heavy, and the line I got on there is too thick. It's probably 80 pound braid, either 80 or 65, and uh, braid that I had left over from my surf rods, and, and I didn't like the way it cast it, y'all. So. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna show how, I'm gonna show you how to to take off braid. That way you could use it for a different reel. So I'm gonna just go ahead and open up my bail. Get my braid here, y'all. All right, got my braid. So I'll just go ahead and just start wrapping it. It's gonna be a long process. It's gonna take a little, a little minute, but we'll get it done. It's all part of the video, right? So. get it to where it comes off easy you gotta you could you know put it somewhere where it'll come off easy where you're not fighting yourself for it so right here I'm just gonna take it off I got braid to make a little little anything I could try putting it on a different spool later but at least you're trying to save it you know down here I'm just oh yeah my bad about that camera fell take off this braid it's not gonna be that much because it's really heavy for this for this reel so I'll just wrap it on like this I'm going to be putting 30 pound camo braid. I'll show you all that right now. Just get this off for y'all. Usually you keep it leveled. So see I'm keeping it pretty leveled with the, with the reel. And it'll just come off. You'll get a couple st stuck every now and then, but just work it like that. We almost got her down. You could pull and go down. But that's all you do, y'all. This was a lot of braid that would have went to waste. Good braid too. I'm just trying to salvage it. down, unravel you some there, a little in, it's a little process, but well, we're going to get it done, that's all that matters. 
could probably even loosen the drag a little. There you go. Loosen up that drag. That's probably a better way to do it, y'all. Right there. A how-to and a how-to. So just loosen that drag and let it pull off. the end that was faster so just loosen that drag and let it let it spool so now I got some line there put this away somewhere and deal with it another day all right so So like you remember when I show y'all on my other reel, those of y'all that watched, right here I got some tape. I got masking tape on here. You know what? That's pretty good. I'm going to just leave the masking tape. I'll just throw me a piece of electrical right on top just for You know what, I'm going to take the masking tape off, y'all, and just put the electrical. For those of y'all that saw my other video, see, I already had tape on here, so now I'm going to go ahead and Put the electrical on there nice and tight. Get us a little bigger piece. Pull it down a little bit. Just like that, y'all. That'll be good enough right there. That braid will press that down. So now, now let's talk braid. Got that reaction tackle. Is that 30 pound? There you go. 30 pound 300 yard reaction tackle, y'all. So we're looking like let's get her tight on. Let's boot up. Get 
nice nice length out of there go through that first eye make sure you open up that bale Go ahead and tie your knot on there. And cinch her down nice and tight. Go ahead and cut my tag in. Tying her down one more time just to be sure. Okay. <clears throat> Here comes the fun part. Get everything nice and tight. Cutting back down my drag. Keep it tight there. Start off real nice and tight off that spool. Make sure you get her started real good. <laughs> and always keep it tight. I can already tell there's plenty more line on there. It should cast a lot better. Always stop and just tighten yourself back up. If you feel your fingers slipping a little, go ahead and tighten up. I like to grab onto the rod there. That way your fingers don't move. Reposition your spool. Just keep everything there. Real easy. Keep your spool away from your reel and keep it at an angle. That way you don't catch yourself like I almost just did. But that's why I like to stop and reposition myself. Tighten myself back up. To keep things nice and crispy. Is that old school pin, y'all? Stop 
Let me check where I'm at. Put a couple more twists on there. It won't hurt. But we're about there. We're about there, y'all. We're about there, y'all. I'm gonna just give it a couple little more turns. Cut off right there. Cut off right there. Bring her up through the line just to. Get her ready. Pull her down, pull her down some so she won't come loose. <clears throat> there we go, y'all. That's that old school pin. I believe it's a 4400. Yes, sir. 4400 SS. That braid spool on there. And I'll be doing y'all a uh, casting on this one. Get out there by the on the water. Thanks for watching y'all. I'm going to leave it at that. That's that camo braid. Let's go and see how much we had left on that spool. Got quite a few left there. That 30 pound braid. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace, y'all.